Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back to the Tyler Williams Channel. Welcome to the Wrestler of the Year Award. Well, it's not the Wrestler of the Year Awards. I botched that. And welcome back to the Wrestling Year End Awards, hosted by Tyler Williams. Uh, we just, I just got off of the Female Wrestler of the Year. If you guys have not, like, heard that one, make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and go to the playlist and make sure you guys, uh, listen to that before you go to this one. I mean, you can listen to whatever order you want. It doesn't matter. I'm not really gonna spoil who won what until the last one, which is Wrestler of the Year. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next category, which is Tag Team of the Year. Now, to many of you, this should be a no-brainer. But with the nominees I have, it's going to be a little bit tougher for you guys. So I'll leave it at that. All right, so the three tag teams I have lined up here are The Bar, The New Day, and The Usos. The Bar being the current tag team, Raw Tag Team Champions. I believe they are the current Raw Tag Team Champions. The Usos being the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And The New Day, you know, they've just been hopping. So, um, you know, the... The Usos, they've been tearing it up the entire year. Great match after great match after great match. It doesn't even matter who they're wrestling. They're just capable of having a great match. They've really evolved since, you know, their earlier days of wearing face paint. Uso, they've really, really evolved in terms of character development, in terms of every, just everything. So, Usos are very much deserving of that. Then you have the bar, you know, you had the unlikely pairing of Sheamus and Cesaro. They were paired up last year back in 2016, and it kind of carried over this year, in 2017. And it just worked. At first, I was very skeptical because, you know, the wrestling styles are just so different, but it worked. It ended up really working for the better. They became a babyface tag team, later ended up turning heel, becoming the bar. They've had really good feuds this year. They've had seemingly a never-ending feud with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, which... I hope they're, it's ending soon. Not the rivals back. But nonetheless, the bar has been having great matches all year round as well. Cesaro with that balloon spot of SummerSlam. Must we not forget about that? RIP to that balloon that was in the crowd. Did not deserve that treatment. And, of course, the New Day. Just any comedic relief that is in this WWE company really always comes from the New Day, whether they're on Raw or SmackDown, because they did start off on Raw at the beginning of the year and transitioned over to SmackDown after WrestleMania. I believe they were Raw Tag Team Champions at the beginning of the year, but I may be wrong. And they ended up winning the SmackDown Tag Team Championships around June, I believe. And they had that feud with the Usos that I was perfectly fine if that feud never ended but it did come to an end and the New Day did not win that feud but they came out of it no one came out of it a loser it was a great feud all the all the matter so yeah the Usos the bar and the New Day process elimination the bar is going to be taken out first like I said they are a great tag team Sheamus and Cesaro were but the one factor that I think kind of swaying me away from this is that they had that very very long running feud with the shield i feel like the feud started at the tail end of the summer and ever since then why haven't we got why haven't we gotten away from this feud and they might have great mats at the great mats but that's kind of the extent of their tag team in terms of like you know feuds and promos and all that kind of stuff it's not really there in terms of the usos and a new day so then you have left the usos and a new day which they had a great feud this year and you know i am going to go with the usos i think the usos completely just showed why they are the best tag team going in rest not just WWE. But wrestling today, I think that the, this was the year for the Usos. And I'm just hoping they're going to have a much better year in 2018. What I'm thinking is maybe they might send them over to Raw. Or if not, I'm hoping that they send the Revival over to SmackDown so we can finally get the Usos versus the Revival. However, the Usos, very much deserving of this, have a great match with every single tag team they faced off against. And sooner or later, it's going to come to a point where they're going to realize they don't have many other tag teams to face, and they might have to go to Raw next year. 
But nonetheless, they basically held the tag team division on SmackDown, and I think they are very deserving of this award. Thank you guys for listening in, and make sure you guys tune into the next video.